Yo, what is up guys? This is Stephanie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry if you hear background noise. Our air conditioning kind of broke um, a few days ago and I've been running off of two fans. The one right behind me and this big fan right here. Um, so sorry about the background noise. Um, I cannot fix that. But anyways, today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I do for my other videos. Um, this video is going to be um, my review on the iPod 6. As you guys know, um, the iP my iPod has helped me with a lot of the videos because um, um, my phone does most of the stuff. My phone is kind of breaking, unfortunately, so there will be a little bit of a delay with videos now um and if i don't remember my youtube password i'm going to have a new youtube um channel but anyways let's get on the review with the ipod 6 my review so the ipod 6 generation is a 4.6 ips display um it has 326 ppi which ppi stands for pixels per inch that is a lot of pixels per inch um, also, the iPod 6 is running iOS 9.1, the newest edition of iOS. Um, if you have iOS, like an iPhone, iPad, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you have iOS 9.1, you have noticed there are new emojis. And a lot of people love the, um, middle finger emoji and everything else. But, anyways, the, um... I'm kind of going to do a comparison of the iPod 5 and the iPod 6, like what has changed throughout the three years that the iPod has been evolved. So the iPod 5 um, has a starting 1.2 front megapixel, like the front facing camera is 1.2 megapixels and then the back camera is only 5 megapixels. With the iPod 6 generation, the um, the front camera has stayed exactly the same, 1.2 megapixels, but the back camera has upgraded to 8 megapixels, and it, now it has a new slow-mo edition for recording. Um, I don't know how much it goes up to. Let me check. Be right back. So, according to my camera, it says my slow-mo is on 120 frames per second which I guess there's no other ones that goes up higher so I guess it's all it goes up to is 120 frames per second also the iPod 6 and the iPod 5 have an LED flash and a microphone right in between the camera um, now let's talk around the price range um, I have the iPod 6 16 gigabyte version gold um, it goes from 16, 32, 64, and 128 gigabytes. Um, the iPod 5, I believe, only goes up to 64. Um, and the prices, the 16 gigabyte, which I have with the iPod 6, is 199. The 64 gig, the 32 gigabyte is 299. The 64 gigabyte is 399, and the 128 gigabyte is 499. Um. Also, um, Apple decided to ditch the loop thingy that um, was on located at the bottom of the um, iPod 5. They ditched it and they don't have it with the um, new um, iPod. So if you love the loop of the iPod 5, that's going to be a feature that you're going to have to ditch. Um, and just overall, the iPod 6 is a really great upgrade from 2012. It's 2015 now, and a whole lot of technology has changed. Um, tests from Geekbench and all the other tests, it dominates the iPod 5. The downloading speed is so much faster. Um, it's a good comparison up to the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and the new 6S and 6S Plus. Um, and just overall, it's just a great... Um, iOS experience if you're an Apple fan and if you're an Android fan don't worry the Samsung <laughs> but um anyways guys that is it for this video um if you want to know more about the iPod 6 generation just leave a comment down below and I will explain any more that I 
forgot out or you can just check out the description to see anything else that if I forgot anything which I think I did um but also if you want to know how much I know about all this I am going to technology school so I have to study everything so yeah um anyways guys um thanks for watching this video um leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it like comment and subscribe to my channels for more videos and have an awesome day guys See you next video.